let's go let's go back a little bit let's go back a little bit to to ucla and playing with russ okay you guys were roommates on the road we were so you got to see probably a side of him that most people don't get to see Mm -hmm. and um i actually had i had dinner with him randomly one night in the bubble he was like standing by our table for an hour um talking to tj and doug mcdermott tj mcconnell and doug mcdermott i was like Russ, at some point you can just sit down. So he sat yeah. down, had some wine with us. It was really my first time interacting with him. And I came away from that thinking to myself, wow, this guy is totally different than anything I've experienced, any inter- interaction I've had with him on the court. Yeah. When did you realize he was sort of cut from a different cloth? So I had been on a number of unofficial visits there. I'd been on... It was actually my only official visit. I remember my first day uh, on campus, I'm walking up Bruin Walk, I'm going to my first history class, and you know we kind of interchange with our academic advisor, uh, who was more of my therapist than academic advisor, because I was a athlete student, not the other way around. Um, and he made fun of my clothes. I mean, I'm, I'm this 18 year old from Portland, Oregon, who doesn't know, you know how to dress. You look at Russ now, it's funny, but like my bad in this tops backpack from the all American game, you know, it's just the whole thing. So I was like, okay, well, let's go get on the court. Let's play fives at the, at the, uh, the wooden center, uh, or let's play fives at the men's gym. The men's gym, remember it was like, yeah. it was crazy. So that was my first time seeing him and they always let, five UCLA players on against, you know, 25 other pros. Or if USC came, they would put their guys in. But I can remember that first day, it was like, you know, Jordan Farmar, uh, Baron Davis, um, you know, a few other point guards from the league. Could have been Rafer, who was on Orlando at the yeah. time. Um, but he was just, you know, grabbing a rebound at top of the square, bringing it, bringing it down, kind of surveying, dribbling up the court, getting up, getting way above, finishing with his left. Just his body body control, how he passed, uh, you know, uh, the, you know, what he was willing to, to take on even in an open gym, I thought was, I was like, wow, this kid's going to be amazing. So when people ask me, they go, who do you think is going to be a breakout, breakout guy that nobody really knows about? I go, that's the easiest question I'm going to answer all year. It's Russell Westbrook. Yeah. So Darren Collison went down. I think he sprained his MCL. Russell took over, I think for the first, it was like dozen or a little bit less games played point guard. And then he just took off. He just took off after that. I, I have a similar story because it happened at UCLA. It was after my rookie year. Um, and I was at, uh, what you call it, the men's gym? Men's gym. Okay, the men's gym. So Play, student activity just, center, which yeah. is the wooden center, which is like below where we've practiced, yeah. but then the men's gym's up top. Gotcha. Where it's typically where they've done the pros. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so the UCLA guys were one team, and then the pros were kind yeah. of rotating in and out. Yeah. And there were a bunch of great NBA guys there. Um and Russ was well, first time I went was going KG. It was, it was yeah, crazy. going into Russ's sophomore year, so he'd played his freshman. That year. was it. Yeah, and I was like, that dude's the best player on the court. Yeah, against all NBA players, yeah. it was no, unbelievable. That was, it was the same summer. Whenever that was, I mean, I I could have possibly been been in there, but he was like you said at any given point the best player on the floor. And he's by the way my age. He should actually be, you know, a 2007 high school class. But um, it's insane. 